Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video, guys. Today, I have found what I think is the best ISO setup, and we're just going to hop right into it. Thankfully, we have Shoot the Ship here, and I'm going to show you guys the class setup at the end of the video. I believe that I found a pretty good ISO setup, and a lot of people were saying that the ISO is a terrible SMG, and I completely disagree. I cannot say for sure yet or not where it compares to the MP5. I still think the MP5 is the superior gun of the game. But this ISO is definitely viable. Definitely a lot more viable than a lot of other SMGs. I actually got into the beginning of a game of Hardpoint, which is awesome. Because it said match started, and apparently it didn't. But this is awesome. So right here, this setup, the first thing you're going to notice in the bottom right is that I have the 30 round mag on. And I feel like it is pretty important. If you were playing Search, you might be able to get away with it. Dude, look how, sh like, how straight this gun shoots, though. It's nice. But I feel like you could get away with... That guy was right behind me, huh? You get away with not using the 30 round mag maybe in search. But even then, I mean, the 30 round mag is just the way to go. That guy just smoked me. One thing I can say for sure, though, is that you do not need sleight of hands if you're playing search. Now, hard point and stuff like that, you might want sleight of hand. I'm getting destroyed by these tryhards. These guys all have, like, new the new operators and all that stuff. These guys are hurting my feelings. But... Look, I mean, this thing shoots straight. The only problem is it just only has 30 round mags with extended. Now there is a 50 round mag extended, which might not be a might not be a bad idea for things like shipment and hardpoint and domination. But I, you guys know, like I play search and destroy, so that is what my class is mainly going to be focused on. Like what I'm going to be running in search and destroy. I have mostly, I have mostly like aim down sight, uh, pros on it just like you would with any other smg however i feel like even when i was running this like just default like when it was level one just like i said in yesterday's video i felt like it was it handled fine and adding like all the plus aim down sight attachments i really don't think like messes with the like recoil all that much i mean as you can see i'm shooting fairly straight so i and i have i mean you can even see in the bottom right like right now you can basically see all my attachments i'm just gonna go ahead and say you know why, why am i hiding that from you if you want to just if you want them that bad you could go to skip to the end of the video so basically i'm rocking the commando foregrip which could be if you wanted to be a cheeky boy you could replace that with a uh, merc foregrip which is the foregrips that helps you helps you hit fire but i just like the commando because it does not reduce my down sight speed and I wanted to give this thing, you know, as many pros as possible on aim, obviously. So I have that. I have the very last stock, which is like the, uh, oh, that guy had to have been weak. Dang it, I still have Wilson on. You know, Wilson's not that bad in shipment, I don't think. But I, I just still have my search and destroy kill streaks. But so I have the stock that is equivalent to no stock where it uh, improves your speed and your aim down sight speed. I, I don't know, remember what's, what it's called, but it's the very last stock you unlock. So I have that stock. This guy just killed me. I just ran his boy over, though. Um, and then I have whatever the... I believe it's... No, it's the second to last barrel. So that's one thing I did. I did change aim down sight. The very last barrel you unlock on the ISO improves your aim down sight speed. And I'm not running that one. I'm running the one that improves your range and recoil. That way, if there ever is a time where I need to try to, like, challenge someone that's, like, a pretty decent distance, then I don't have the worst recoil ever you know like i actually can kind of stand a chance and it has let me go ahead let me just show you them real quick these are all the attachments so the fss revolution commando foregrip 30 round mag this grip is the plus aim down sight speed and fire speed and then the collapsible i think it's a pretty good setup like i said i mean you guys are seeing like how fast i'm kind of able to kill literally right as i said how fast i was able to kill people i could not kill that guy but for the most part i mean i'm able to kill people i didn't even hit that guy once that was just this is weird i just suck i guess okay Literally, I was just trying to, I'm tar trying to talk about how this gun is not that bad, and I just died four times in a row. Can we make a five? Thank you, Chubb, for dying. Let's, let me smoke you. I can't. Okay. The, hold on, guys. This is just me sucking, not the not the ISO. Let me show you guys right now. I just spawned right right in enemy lines. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys some real real gameplay with this bad boy. And look, I mean, I'm aiming in pretty quick, especially off the sprint. That Look at that. Now, that is why we put on that barrel that helps with recoil and range. That way, if you ever have a guy that's on a nasty head glitch like that, you can hurt their feelings. That guy hurt my feelings from Red Barrel. Let's see if he's still in here. He is. What a bad boy. He's gone. See what I'm saying? Like That's why I feel like the MP5 is still the better SMG. But, I mean, this thing's still pretty... I mean, it still kills pretty quickly. It's not... It's definitely not terrible. I am terrible. And also, we're playing on shipment, which is just, as you guys know, the most hectic time ever. But I love shipment just because only for like camos and stuff. And I, 
I have to keep... So, I, I'm not a Damascus guy. I wish I was, but I didn't think Damascus was that great of a camo looking for the amount of work I had to put in. Especially, the RPG was basically the main reason. But I do have my SMG Platinum, and so I do have to get this gold, which should be fairly easy. As long as I actually... I mean, right now, I'm, I'm having a hard time getting kills. Apparently, these guys are smoking me. And we are destroying them hard point score-wise, which I am a big fan of. This guy's just laying down. Who did I kill right there? I killed Chubb. I have 41 kills. Today, earlier when I was leveling this up, I actually... So, I was recording, but I'm not going to post the video. But I do have a highlight, like, at like the end of the game. And as I was leveling up this gun, so I didn't even have all the attachments on it yet, yeah, I dropped a 101 kill game with this ISO. Now, obviously, it was on shipment. Which is, you know, shipment hardpoint, which is whatever. Shipments, 100 kill games are not that impressive. But, I I mean, with the new ISO, I don't know how I don't know how well I'd be able to drop a 100 kill game with the Bison, you know? Gun like that. This, dude, what? This lobby, look, these guys are all running that new black, like, shadow, uh, shadow character. And they are all, you know what, that's right, I'm in the shoot the ship playlist. So, of course, these guys are all trying hard. These guys are all going for... They're Damascus and Obsidian Grinds. That's why I'm in the wrong playlist for trying to record a casual YouTube video. That's for sure. This guy, you know, I would have smoked you anyway. And we <laughs> look at the score oh limit, my dude. Bro, bro. Our, let's I see what Luke. Jet in my chopper. Run out of jet in his chopper. That's different. Do I not? I don't get play of the game. I actually I'm in play of the game. It's a death. All right, 43 and 40. I did not go negative, which in Shimmit is very impressive. But I just wanted to show you guys. I mean the. Obviously, that wasn't the best gameplay. However, the ISO, not that bad of a weapon. So once again, here is the final class setup. The FSS Revolution improves damage range and recoil, which is the biggest things. Now, if you really wanted to... Oh, actually, the shade. The shade might not be that bad of an idea. Although I feel like... Yes, yeah, it, it decreases the mobility just a little bit more, which I'm not a huge fan of. However, you could do that if you're into that. I never even run mono anyway. I might run this. This is definitely more of a war zone type of thing. And then the aim down sight speed is something that you could run if you really need to. But I feel like it goes fast enough with this revolution. So, and then the collapsible is just like the MP5's collapsible. Plus aim down sight speed and movement speed, which is what you want. And then, you know, plus aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed is really important. So, like, when you're running around a corner sprinting, you can pull up your gun faster, which is big. And then 30 round mag... You could run 50 one or two. I I feel like if I were to like play hardpoint, I would switch it to 50. I should have done it for today's video. But for search and destroy, 30 round mag is going to do you just fine. And then you have the commando foregrip. One thing you could do if you wanted to try it for search specifically, you could get rid of the 30 round mag and do slide of hand instead. However, I mean, the biggest thing you're going to be able to get with that is a double kill. I mean, you're not going to be able to get a triple kill. And I know you don't really get too many of those in search, but... I don't know. That's completely up to you. This is my setup. The only thing, like I said, if you want, you could do the nightshade, but I'm totally fine with just running the revolution. One more thing. If you guys are still here, these are the only people I want to talk to for the people who already clicked off the video. I don't really care about their opinion on this. Uh, Tig mentioned to me that I should potentially make a Discord server, like a Rudy Discord server for all you guys to join. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Like, yes, Discord or no Discord. I mean, I guess if you voted no, though, would you really even care? And also, if you voted no, you probably would have clicked off the video by now. Just let me know what you guys think about that, and I, we might make one. I'm not 100% sure on it, though. Regardless, thank you guys for watching today's video. Don't forget to use code EMGG on G Fuel, Scuff, DX Racer, and Meta Threads. And if you do any of those, be sure to tweet out at e Eastern Media GG and myself so you can show us some love and we can show you some love back. Thank you guys for stopping by today's video. Goodbye.